Hello, I'm Antonio Neves, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age, your daily video news show. Adjusting to the worsening economic downturn is no easy task for giant food marketers. Consumers continue moving to the down market menu items, even in fast food restaurants, and they're migrating to less expensive grocery store items as well. As a result, Kraft Foods, the country's largest food company, has been rapidly adjusting its marketing strategies to stay relevant to cash strapped shoppers. Appearing as one of the honorees at last week's Women to Watch Luncheon, Kraft CMO Mary Beth West offered some insights and tips for other marketers. Whether it's the cost of a gallon of milk or a box of macaroni and cheese or an airline ticket, costs are escalating for our consumers. And trying to fundamentally understand what that means to our consumers is really, really important. So I have two sort of practical uh, things I'd like to recommend. Um, First of all, it's really, really important to experience this through the eyes of our consumer firsthand. At the Ani talk I gave a, a month or so ago, I talked about walking not just a mile in our consumer shoes, but two miles. Listening to consumers in a focus group, again, that's the first mile. The second mile would be calculating for your target consumer on your brand or your business, their median income, and then figuring out what they've got for a week and then trying to figure out what would it cost to pay the bills, the mortgage, the rent, and then seeing what you got left. Can you live like that for a week without losing your home? Once you've got that understanding, there's a real marketing opportunity. And uh, the marketing opportunity is to think about how to reframe or redefine your value proposition to that consumer target. How do you think about redefining what your brand stands for in a world of tight economy? What do I mean by that? I'll just give you a couple of craft examples. Uh, on a brand basis, we took a brand like Kool-Aid. We are repositioning and creating a value proposition of uh, one-third the cost of soda. It's got a great frame of reference, great opportunity, but takes the filter of, I understand that target consumer. I understand how many dollars they've got in their wallet, and I understand the choices they're making. One bag, five dinners, another craft scale platform. and. Uh, we know that people are moving away from eating out to eating at home and trying to create an entire meal and restaurant experience type opportunity for them through the products and the services that we offer, a third opportunity. And then finally, once you've figured out that value proposition redefined, spend into it. Because unless they hear about it, it's not going to make a difference. And that's it for this three-minute ad age. Thanks for being with us. I'm Antonio Neves at Advertising Agent New York.